Hey guys, it's Chris again from CMS. So this video is going to be an app review for the app Tada. A friend asked me to do it, so it's going to be um, more about the, all the functions, so it can be a bit longer. So the app is called Tada and it is completely free. And so, yeah, let's go to the app. Okay, so let's open the app. So nice little loading screen. And first we have to uh, create an account or log in. And now we come here and this app isn't only an app to make photos. You can also share them and there's a little community of photos. So you have trending photos, featured photos. Here are some categories of photos. You can always uh, see them. So let's uh, just click on some that isn't, yeah, something like this. So you can comment on them, like them and email them already. Uh, write a comment or something. You can do all that. You can also view who made this uh, photo and see all his other photos. Well, very nice. As a little community, if you want to share your photos, then you can uh, see something new and you can search for photos like apps and you can see all the things that are made uh, worth, well, apps, yeah. So you have some notifications, oops, sorry, which I don't know, which is very useful, but okay. So let's go back to awesome. Here we have people, so people we are following, who are following us, blocked users, and people we may know. So this is more like a community or social network for with photos. Oops, no, not yet. I'm gonna go to the camera in a second. We have our own account. We can edit it, add a picture or something. Well, uh, yeah, so this is just, it looks a bit like Twitter with following and followers. So that, yeah, your settings are just, you can look at them. Facebook, if you want to share Twitter, notifications. So it's all about sharing and publishing photos. So now to the camera. Let me pick this up. Wait a second. So, well, I hope it's... So, uh... First we have, we can view all our own photos. I didn't access it right now, so you can view your own photos. You can change the rate of the back of the, of the border by clicking on this all at the time. And the borders you can change down here on this little button. So you have many uh, little frames. You can also change, change them by swiping up or swiping down. So now I can change the ratio, Ra ratio, sorry. So that's very nice. You can have your little zoom button on this side. Whoops. But what you notice very quick is as if you have an effect, which is on the uh, right side down here, you, the camera isn't as good anymore, but well, that's obvious because it has to, uh, well, calculate what colors it has to be. And you can also adjust the map, the percentage of how much you want to see the effect. Oops, sorry, sorry, it didn't look. So you can here adjust it. So we have some effects. We can also swipe left or right to adjust the or change the effect. So very nice effect. Well, again, this. Da -da -dum. You have a flash. Obvious. So this is uh, a great app to make photos with nice effects. And if you want to share them. Well, yeah, there's not that much more. Just the camera is mainly the best point. So it still has a nice way uh, how it changes the effect. And I thought it would be a bit longer this video, but I think I'm covering everything right now. So this is maybe an effect. What is it called? It's Ice am Stiel. Well, I don't see the that it's very nice, but okay. And this is my microphone I'm recording with. So I like, I always like, like black and white photos. Oh yeah, and here's the person who made me do this video. Uh, yeah, this is kind of everything to the app. So great app to make videos, uh, photos from, but I'm gonna tell you in the conclusion. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, let's go to the conclusion, that's everything. Okay, so now to the conclusion. So as you could see, it has 
a lot of functionality, it has so many functions. You have a little social network in the uh, camera app and that's a great plus point so I would really give six points for the functionality because I don't know that many apps for uh, photos that have a social network integrated into them except of Insta message or but that has Instagram so um, yeah it also has great effects which is the main point the effects are very quick very fast and you can also just uh, access them with the swipe to the right to the left it has nice borders so that's very nice and the main point of this app well is sharing with other people which is very nice I don't like to do it but that's something different because but I think most of you like to share the pictures with anybody so the functionality gets five almost six stars from me if I would give six the price is free so also five stars and there's not much more to uh, count for uh, stars but the only thing I have to say is that when I logged in it there's a lot of commercial like log into Facebook log into this well there's I think that's too much I had too many I wanted to start the app and suddenly there were three pop-ups that were just in my way so and the notification well I just got commercial well not commercials but little notifications of the app that I have to log into this and that and I really don't like that it's a free app of course so they have to make money too but uh, please make them in a notification area where I don't see them where I can access them but not that they pop up and just stay in my way forever so uh, that was really disappointing and I think I have to take a star away for that so only four stars all in all but still a very nice app to make photos if you have uh, if you get rid of those banners and pop-ups so yeah, four stars all in all. I hope you like this video and well, yeah, that's all to the app and like always watch our, all our other videos. I'm gonna put a video of some other great camera apps in the top and yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.